Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'll show you how to set up um, forms on Discord. They are known as models. Um, forms is just a more easier way of saying it. But other than that, let's begin. So the first thing I should be doing is creating a class. We can call, call this class anything except model, because it just won't work with model. Let's call this about yourself, since it's going to be a form that basically imports user's name and about themselves. Um, inside this, we're going to call this nextcode.ui.model uh, with a capital letter. We actually have to initialize the class. To do this, we just define underscore underscore init underscore underscore open bracket self. And afterwards, we're going to be just typing in super and then the initialize um, thing again. And then we're going to open brackets. And inside these open brackets, the first thing that comes up there is the title of the form. We're going to call this about yourself. Now let's call this profile. Afterwards, um, we're going to be inside this function still because we actually have to put two different fields. Two is the minimum amount you can have on a form. You can go over that. I don't know the max one, but all I know is two is the minimum. You can go for one. So to create the first one, we're just going to do self dot main underscore title equals next code dot ui dot text input and inside these we're going to have some different variables we can assign the first one being the label or you just call this the name and this one is just going to be what's at the top of the you know the text box next one is going to be the minimum length um you can have for us it's going to be two and then it's going to be the max length for us it's going to be 128 and then the last one for this one is going to be the placeholder. That is the text inside, you know, the text box. We're going to call this tell us your name. And then we're going to copy and paste this whole thing again and just rename this from main title to main underscore description. And the only thing that changes on the last bit is we're going to put style equals next god dot. Uh, I forgot the comma down here again. Next god dot text import style dot paragraph. Because we set this as a paragraph, um, not as a title, so it gives you more room for the user, you know, to type stuff in. Afterwards, let's just create a little command. We can just copy and paste this thing over here. We're gonna call it. You can call this command anything you want, um, but for me, I'm gonna call it profile. After we're done now, we then have to actually you know initialize the subject. So what we naturally do is do model is equals to about yourself. And then afterwards, just send a reply back to the user by just doing interaction dot response dot model, not much role, but more send model, open bracket model is equals to model. So now if you actually want to run the bot this time, so let's just start debugging real quick and go back into our Discord bot and then type in profile. And it should now give you a screen, which it does not, which I'm not surprised by. Okay, so what I actually kind of forgot, and I apologize for this, is the fact we actually have to add, you know, the object to, you know, the model, these two things. So it's just a simple procedure once again. All we're going to be doing is just do self dot add item, open bracket, and then main title, self dot main title, and then we just do the same to the other item. And then afterwards, if we do this, it should work without a problem. I guarantee this. I hope so. So if you do slash um, profile, it gives you this over here. Um, there we go, name and about yourself. However, if you do input some information, it doesn't return anything. So how do you return a model? So how do you actually, you know, return data from this model? Since right now this model is technically useless. Yes, it does look nice, but it just doesn't do anything. So to do this, we um, it's as simple as creating a new function. So let's do async define. And then this time, this function is going to be called callback. It's important that you name this a callback. And then uh, it should be able to auto fill this for you. So let's just fix this real quick. Interaction. And then we're going to remove this. So what we're going to actually be doing is going new to new variables for title. And then we're going to assign this to, you know, the title itself, which is going to be my title. And then we're going to have a value. And then the description itself as well, which is self dot main description dot value and then in the end we're gonna actually return this whole thing by doing return await interaction dot response actually we can use send open bracket and then we're just going to do an f string so now if we're going to reload this bot real quick and there we go and go back and do profile again if we just fill this out let's say zero wolfie this is a test 
it should be able to as you can see you know return this pro um, this model and give you the you know the values of the text boxes but other than that that's how you basically do simple models for your disco ball you can go more advanced with it you can you know do various stuff with it but for now this is how you basically do them i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to leave a like subscribe to my channel for more of these content and i will see you next time bye bye